I was swinging them around like sausages on a string. I'm like, ah. All right, uh, let's go around the room. I'm going to see what's on your mind today. Surely something's on your mind. We've been bottling it up for a week. Now we're back from vacation. We'll start with you, Froggy. What's going on? Well, you guys know, so I told you that I had been so nervous about getting LASIK surgery last Friday. I went to the amazing people here in uh, Jacksonville, the Atlantic Eye Institute, and I had LASIK surgery on my left eye. And I cannot believe how easy, how fast, and how amazing the results are. I can see everything now. This is so amazing. I wish I would have done this a long time ago. Yeah. That's exactly what you told me, Elvis. You're like, awesome. it's the best decision you've ever made. Yeah, now you see things you don't want to see. I don't need glasses and contacts and all that stuff. It really is great. If you are on the fence about doing it, it is fabulous. It's easy, and it is the results are unbelievable. There you go. I'm glad you got it done, Frog. Yeah. It'll change great. your life. I'm so happy. Hey, Gandhi, what are you thinking about today? Well, I have an eye story as well. I think I lived through one of my worst nightmares yesterday. I was taking a walk with my mom, and it was one of those, you know, like sometimes you walk through a little swarm of bees or what, not bees, like little gnats flying around. Yeah, gnats. I walked through, one of them got in my eye. So I was like, ugh, tried to get it out. It got down under my eyelid, and I could feel it moving from side to side. I could feel a bug walking on my eyeball. I tried to be cool, and then all of a sudden, I just screamed, Mom, get it out! Get it out! She was like, what is it? I opened my eyes. She pulled it out. Oh, it was so gross. It was oh, so gross. Oh, damn. That's gross. I know. It was nasty, but so I'm alive. What did we learn from this, <laughs> from this situation? That my eyes have too much surface area, and things just happen that are terrible. You got big eyes. What are you going to do? They're big. Bug big right eyes. in there. The bugs love your eyes. <laughs> hey, uh, Producer Sam, what's going on with you today? So right before we went on vacation, we were talking about how my mom and William's mom were going to meet for the first time. Oh, how yes, did that go? That's right. Elvis, it went well. It went too well, and I don't want it to get better because my mom is a very particular food person. So, of course, she started to complain about something at brunch. And whereas the rest of my family, we all know to snap into action to bring the energy back and kind of like, you know, pacify her and let her on her island. Nope. William's mom was right there with her saying, oh, my God, you're right. It's basically rubber. You should send it back. It went too well. They were too similar, <laughs> and I was mortified. And I looked at William. I'm like, there can't be two. Yeah. There can't be two. <laughs> so that's where we're at right now. We have to like do some damage control in the future. But it went really well. Well, I tell you what. You know, you posted several things over the vacation, Sam. One of your new hair, which was just fabulous. Thanks, and Dina. And also, there was, there was a photo of you and Will. I thought you you guys look so cute together. Yeah. He's got more hair than you. He looks. He great. does. Yeah. He's really yeah. rocking that long hair, Nate. You've got some competition. Uh, no, I still win. But that's fine. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Uh, scary. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on with you? So I, I went to the Bahamas for vacation, and on my flight back yesterday, I'm sitting down, and then there's a, pe a person sitting in front of me, and then somebody passes by the person in front of me and says, have a safe flight, and they go back to their seat. And, I'm, and it started me thinking, because I had a lot of time in my own head. Yeah. I'm like, wait a second. We know. Is there any other option <laughs> than to have a safe flight? And by you know the what? way, you're on the same flight as the, as the person in front of you, and we're all here together. Right. I mean... I, 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 why do people even say have a okay, safe flight? Okay, the have a safe flight thing is a throwaway line. I mean, I, it really is. I mean, how yeah. you really have no choice. I mean, it's really up to the pilot right. and whoever right. is working on the engines of the plane <laughs> of, that will determine whether you're going to have a safe flight or not. <laughs> right. right, exactly. This is my favorite thing. When I used to fly down to see Froggy, he'd, he'd get on the phone. Hey, did you have a nice safe flight? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm on the phone with you right I'm now. Here. <laughs> but there was one time you didn't when those birds flew into the right. engine and you had to go back oh. to the airport. So that's a valid question. Well, okay. Well, I right. guess. Had to have a safe flight. Uh, okay, thanks. Uh... What's up, Danielle? So mine is about flying, too. So I flew for the first time in a long time. And I am very impressed with all the safety protocols. And I realize what wearing a mask can do for me that is so fantastic. Scary can no longer take pictures of me sleeping with my mouth open. We all did. I we always like, loved yeah, to take pictures yeah. of Danielle while she was asleep on plane. I, I was like... Oh my gosh, my mouth can be open the whole time and nobody knows because I have this mask on. It was fantastic. <laughs> and I said, from now on, even if there are no masks in the future, I'm wearing one just so you should. And you guys can't take my picture. Awesome. Escape the embarrassment. You <laughs> I'm should. So excited. Very, very, very good discovery for you. <laughs> Hey, uh, Straight Nate, what's up with you? Okay, I'm sure we've all been sleeping and woken up with one of our arms asleep, right? Yes. But have yeah. you ever woken up with both of your arms asleep and can't turn off your alarm? 
I would love to see that. Like, yeah. I was no, I was swinging them around like sausages on a string. I'm like, ah. Heather was like, why don't you turn off your alarm? I can't. My hand, my hands, arms are asleep. And then you get those little prickly, yeah, oh, really like, like ants. Yeah. It's like you do this and you're just swinging your arms around. It's crazy. It's like you're in a straight jack. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, uh, I, yeah, this is why you should always be on video. I want to, I want to see you like. Yeah, I was like wacky, wavy, uh, <laughs> inflatable arm flailing tube man. I'm like, yeah. I can't turn it off. <laughs>